Hello and welcome to what's new in CD Engine 2022.1. My name is Jonas and I'm a product engineer in the CD Engine team. Let's directly dive in. First thing I want to talk about is improvements in the GetMap data dialog. So we now have support for 8K resolution for aerial imagery and terrain. As you can see on the right in the dialog, we have these two new options here for our AK. But obviously, also our map layers inside CG Engine now support 8K. Also, the download should be in general a bit faster, and we resolved most of these annoying timeout issues uh, many users were run into. Um, you can still run into issues when you have a really bad connection but usually it should happen much 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 less now have a look at the comparison so on the left we have 8k right 4k and as you can see here in this uh, soccer field it's much much crisper lines and also these cars and the street area here or the buildings. Um, this is also also depending on the extent. So when you um, take a, a really huge uh, extend in the in the dialogue, you probably won't see that much of a difference. But when you take a, a small extent, um, it matters much more. Now let's have a look at another shot. So. Here's an area somewhere in, in South America, um, very hilly terrain, and as you can see, it's uh, very nice, very detailed. You can even see the, uh, the footpath here leading upwards. Um, yeah, looks really nice. Moving on to inspector and street drawing. So here are three things I want to talk about. First thing is, uh, copy and paste functionality, which we now have for um, parameters and attributes in the inspector. Um, on the right hand, you see a screenshot of the inspector. So for parameters, three parameters, and rules and object attributes, we now have this menu where you can uh, copy and paste. So how this work, works, basically, you have to select one uh, uh, segment or shape or whatever element you want and then you can paste that to one or um, as many other um, objects of that type as you like um, and same here for for the rules so you can paste from one shape and then uh, paste onto as many as you want and then for the object attributes they are uh, basically the same but there are two special special things to mention here so these um, default or read only attributes you you uh, they won't be copied and uh, the um, some when you have existing um, attributes on your target shape which have a different name they won't be overridden um, yeah, we also made some channel improvements to street drawing um, and also we removed the smart node type and set the new default, default type to crossing. This uh, has a huge impact when you draw um, with the street drawing tools but also when you import streets using um, the various options. Um, there we often had the, we often had the problem that uh, yeah, you get a lot of cul de sacs, and usually you you don't want that. Or most of the time, this is not what what the users want in that case. So, yeah, let's have a look how this uh, uh, the new uh, new street workflow could look like. I'll start this here. Um, so, what you can see here first, we want to draw some some new uh, segments. And we also have some new snapping capabilities. So here's a rectangular snapping. And we also have a 
line extension snapping. This can come um, in really handy when you want to um, draw precise street layouts. And in this case here, the idea is to have uh, three different street types, uh, major, minor, and uh, footways. And now we can achieve this by uh, just copy and pasting attributes from existing um, segments. Now moving on to the major uh, road segments. Doing the same thing here. And now obviously we also want to copy the, the street shape attributes of the complete street rule, which are uh, yeah, many, many attributes. And this would be very time consuming to do this all manually. And yeah, like this is uh, much, much faster. Now we repeat this for the sidewalks and for the nodes. And we also have another new functionality, which is the reverse street direction. Now you can easily um, reverse streets, which pre or segments which previously had the uh, wrong direction. So you can apply this command to one or multiple segments, and yeah, just like you saw, um, it changes the direction. And um, yeah, before that you had to. Uh, delete the segment and then manually redraw it or use some uh, more complicated uh, Python scripting. Then moving on to some other street improvements. I guess you can see here, this is like the old default with the smart type. And also we you see the intersection behavior when um, intersecting existing uh, segments. As you can see, the, the existing segments were adjusted slightly, which is obviously not what, what we want. And in 2022.1, we improved this, and they now should appear at the exact location of the intersection. And we even added an uh, option, a tool option for that, to um, that you can decide if you want to apply this intersection at all um, or not. That was previously also possible, but was much more complicated and hidden in the settings menu. And yeah, now this is much more user-friendly. Moving on to CGA. So here is also one of my personal highlights. We have a new operation, a split and setback perimeter. So it's basically a combination of split and setback. And yeah, so here's a basic example um, how this works. I got this from, from the help. Um, so basically, um, you have define a have a parameter um, split offset where you define the offset from the from the starting edge. Um, in this case, it's six meters, so we don't want to start at the start of the edge, we want to start six meters later. And then you define um, the length and the depth of um, the split. And you can do as many splits as you want, and you can also um, define repetitive slip, uh, splits using, using asterisk. And yeah, there's some there's an option to use more parameters where you can define a different starting edge. And yeah, here's a, how overlaps are handled. So the one that is uh, with more depth, um, that will uh, cut away from the one that has less depth. So uh, that's how this is uh, implemented. And yeah, I uh, really like it because you can kind of sketch fast some urban urban blocks typologies, which um, otherwise it was not possible like this, or you had to do really advanced CJ. And 
this simplifies things much more. Um, yeah, as you can see here, different typologies, and now there's also a video of a rule in action. Yeah, some configuration might not be uh, very realistic, but I think you you get the idea. And yeah, looking forward to what you all do with this. Then what else? We also worked on the ArcGIS urban integration. So here we have a much more streamlined workflow in general. So on the right you see this new save changes dialog, which before was just a menu entry and then uh, everything was done in the background, but now we have much more control over it and we also get an idea of, of um, what you actually can and what you, what you can do. Um, here's also a video, there are more improvements in the navigator, the loading is um, much better and uh, we have a preview of, of plans and projects and uh, uh, improvements in the search. Um, yeah. And now we want to save it back uh, the initial um, scenario and then this will uh, just be adjusted after after really loading very um, straightforward. Then also we worked on new tutorial material. So we now have a, we just released a new essential series. Um, so we have now two categories in, in the help. So one is the essential series and the other one is the classic tutorial series where, where all the um, classic step-by-step um, -step tutorials are. And we now have um, one section where we have more, this, uh, more description, description, more, uh, more context uh, tutorials. Um, they are more about a certain certain um, uh, workflow, and we developed them together with Devin Lavinia, and we are really happy how they turned out. And yeah, hope you like them too. Try them out. Um, yeah. Also, we, we are refurbishing existing tutorials. So this one here, the tutorial one, was already done with 2022.0, and for this release, we updated uh, tutorial to, to 5. So here's a look of a final screenshot of um, the essentials work with GIS data and with that um, I finish my presentation and I pass on to Benjamin who will talk about uh, Datasmith export to Unreal and Twinmotion and in general about plugins.